Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here and in today's video I'll be talking about the Washington Commanders 2024 rookie class and how there's one player that might be playing a little bit better than you think and could have a very solid second half of the season. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, do all that good stuff. It really does help out the channel a ton and it means a ton for that, you know, me and also the algorithm. Also check out BetUS as well. So the rookie class, we're through two games, very, very, very early to judge uh, this rookie class, right? Uh, there's been some players that have been pretty good. You know, Jaden Daniels has been good. I think, you know, I haven't really talked about him, but Jean Baptiste, He's been pretty good, you know, for a seventh round pick, like he's been getting in and he has been making some plays, getting some pressure. So uh, he's been good. Brandon Coleman's up and down, but he's getting PT and I think he's on his way to being a solid player. Hampton really haven't seen him play much. Newton just got in last week, so still way too early. You know, Sanders still struggled a little bit, at, you know, allowed a uh, sack in the or allowed a touchdown in the first game and i don't know if i said it earlier but make sure you guys check out bet us link in the description and you know there's people at the crib so some noise but uh yeah mike sander sander still allowed a couple touchdowns i'm still not too down on him we'll see how he you know bounces back he's a really good guy really smart guy i think he'll bounce back and obviously Jaden's had a good season but so far i want to talk about luke mccaffrey and the stats might not show it you look at the stats he has three catches on the season for 18 yards on three targets uh you know had a good first game the first game i was like man you know uh maybe he's gonna have an increased role i was honestly trying to get him in a couple other fantasy leagues and dynasty and stuff like that but yeah three catches 18 yards and he was like half a yard away from scoring a touchdown on that play he was very very close just couldn't get in there and that would have you know looked a lot better three catches eight 19 yards and a touchdown uh, but second game didn't really see much from him at all. He wasn't getting targeted and You know, maybe people are a little bit more down on him But I would like to see him get a little bit more targets, but here is a stat from PFF So take it with a grain of salt because it is PFF But Nick Ackridge says I've noticed Luke McCaffrey has been getting open often and it's cool to see it backed up by some of our newer data at PFF in week two McCaffrey ranked fourth in separation percentage how often a wider receiver beats coverage on the season he's third highest and that is very encouraging to see so even though he's not necessarily getting those targets and he's getting he's not getting those yards he's getting open and eventually you know Jaden and the offense is going to realize that and he's going to start to get more targets and get some big time plays so I think that uh, that is something to watch out for and uh, yeah I think we should be a little bit higher on Luke McCaffrey and also he just learned the position or you know he's been playing wide receiver for two years and this is his third year playing receiver he played quarterback in college he you know understands the offense more than a normal receiver does and that definitely could help him get open a little bit and uh it could be the, one of the reasons why he's ranked fourth in separation percentage out of any of the receivers so it's very good to see it's only one metric and i talked about this the other day with Jaden daniels uh with you know completion percentage and some other things it's only one metric but when you start to stack more and more metrics together it is really encouraging so it's just one metric with McCaffrey but you do like to see it and I think the targets and the yards will start to come with Luke McCaffrey uh, as the season progresses as Jaden gets more comfortable with him because this is something to keep in mind this offseason Luke was working with the twos and the threes he barely got any run in with Jaden with the ones in the preseason and in training camp so that definitely affects their chemistry and it might take a little bit of time before they really get going and you know that could start midway through the season and a huge shout out to bet us for sponsoring today's video make sure you guys check them out at betus.com it's really easy to sign up and if you use my code youtube 150 you get a hundred and fifty percent deposit match up to two thousand dollars on your first three deposits so it's a really good deal they got the fastest payouts in the industry and you know they got lines for these games so tonight you see the patriots and the jets the jets are six point favorites and you can go down the line and the commanders obviously will be playing monday night 
against the Cincinnati Bengals and the commanders currently and this could change as usual are eight point underdogs are at Cincinnati and you know I know Cincinnati hasn't had a great season but they're still a good football team and the over under is 47 so you, you can check them out betus.com worked with them all last season and we'll be working with them all this season they got great customer support as well make sure you guys check them out and as usual bet responsibly so back to the topic of today's video and that's the rookies and you know Luke McCaffrey who yeah not getting the production yet but also he's a third round pick you can't expect a ton of production production right away i think it'll start to he'll start to produce more as the season goes on and as their you know chemistry gets better and you know these guys are watching film jaden has and that's the thing with quarterback you're gonna be seeing even though you might make a lot of good plays you're gonna be seeing your mistakes because you're going to have to watch the tape every single time and you're going to see who's open and who's not and you know Jaden's a you know a tape guy he watches a lot of tape he's always done that and he'll see that Luke's open and he'll start to get him the ball if Luke continues to be open uh here's another stat this is just you know not just PFF this is another metric with separation score and you see Luke McCaffrey is pretty high on there with some of the other guys um, on this list, uh, not too high in this category. T P P or T P R R. Not completely sure what that is. Not gonna lie. Uh, or I guess targets per route run. Targets per route run, and that that's understandable why he's low. And this is this was through week one. So uh, yeah, obviously some things have changed, and some other things. Let's talk about the other rookies. Jaden Daniels. Uh, has had a good rookie season so far. Some stats here to show that. Pass rating 8th, completion percentage 3rd, EPA per play 5th, which is basically like an efficiency stat uh, per play. Uh, rushing yards tied, f- or rushing touchdowns tied 1st, rushing yards 2nd, passing yards 18th, and interceptions tied 1st, meaning he's thrown 0, which obviously is good. And he hasn't thrown touchdowns, and you know, the completions haven't been super down the field but I still nonetheless have been impressed by Jaden Daniels and I think those touchdowns will come and the uh, deeper passes will start to happen as well so don't worry about that Uh, and yeah I'm happy with how Jaden Daniels has done so far Uh, some guys that need to step up a little bit Mike Sander still uh, need to see a little bit more out of him and Ben Sinnott like he Ben Sinnott has been the most disappointing out of all of them I mean not like I was expecting like a big season from him but like no catches through two games and also had that bad false start that cost them a, probably cost him a touchdown they had to go for a field goal and other players had false starts too but uh, I want to see more from Ben Sennett Ben Sennett Ben Sennett still not completely sure how to pronounce it because he said Ben Sennett but people are still saying Ben Sennett uh, regardless, he needs to uh, play a little bit better. Maybe he's getting open and Jaden's not seeing it, but I haven't seen him open that much. But again, he's a rookie. He's, you know, he's he's going to learn behind Zach Ertz. It might take a little bit of time. And Zach Ertz is balling out, so there's no reason to get, you know, Ben Sinnott all those targets from Zach Ertz yet. Uh, Johnny Newton, no criticism on him yet. He played one game, actually played a decent amount of snaps. Didn't really see a big impact from him, but it, it is week one and he's a rookie and he's coming, or it was week one for him and he's a rookie and he's coming off an injury. So let's really see how he does over the next few weeks. Uh, Jordan McGee, I'm excited to see when he comes back. He did not, or he obviously he's on IR, but he'll be back, you know, week five at the earliest, maybe a little bit later. Uh, Brandon Coleman happy with what he's done so far it's a little bit up and down but that's expected especially out of a third round rookie tackle left tackle you're going to expect some up and downs there and like I said earlier in the video I've been impressed with uh, Javante Jean Baptiste uh, getting some pressures and I think he can turn into a rotational edge type of player and they still need another edge. Dorrance Armstrong haven't really seen a big impact from him, and Clune Farrell has gotten some sacks, but they need an elite guy. Could look at it in the draft, free agency. I posted something on Twitter the other day going over some of the biggest needs for the commanders, and that was, in no order, receiver, 
tackle, cornerback, and edge. You can throw safety in there as well. I still want to see what Chin can do. But also, Chin is on a one-year deal, so he's going to be gone. Uh, but I wouldn't mind also throwing in Derek Forrest, see what he can do, because he has balled out before. Um, and then, you know, Quan Martin has been solid so far um, as well. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, stick around till the end. Go ahead and comment down below Pierre Garcon. And also make sure you guys check out BetUS. Peace.